Hey friends, welcome back to Kimmy's Kitchen and more. I hope you all are having a great day. I'm just adjusting my necklace here. <laughs> so um, for those of you who are new here, welcome. And of course, welcome to all my other YouTube family. Um, I hope you all enjoy this video. If you are new here and you decide to hit that subscribe button as well as the bell notification, so you won't miss any of my uploads. Um, I have a Dollar Tree haul to share with you guys. So, um, I went by the Dollar Tree actually to get two things. Well, I had a small list of fabric softener sheets, tissues, and uh, a sympathy card. And I misplaced my list, and of course you later find it when you get home, of course. So I forgot about the fabric softener sheets. So at some point I do need to get those, but I can get those forever. Um, but I did get the tissues. I did remember the tissues and I did remember the card. So let me share with you guys some of the stuff I found while getting those things. I'm gonna show you guys the crafty stuff first. So Alma over at um, Alma Tyser's channel sweet Alma. Um, she recently made a junk journal and I know a lot of us here on YouTube have made them before and it's been quite a while since I've made one and I only made that one. Um, actually, I have it over here. Hold on a second and I'll show you guys. Hold on. Okay. So this is what the outside looks like. And I actually made it with my daughter in mind. I thought she could just kind of go in there and write down um, thoughts and ideas. Um, so that's why I left a lot of note paper on it so that she could write kind of like, you know, her own little personal journal. Um, but I did little things that I thought she would maybe would like or that would inspire her. Um, I just thought it would be neat, this one, and put like this little, she could, you know, fill that out. So that gives you guys an idea. Oh, and apparently I made it on March 15th, 2021, because it says, made with lots of love to my Princess Bella, love mama. And that was kind of at the back, but like I said, I left lots of pages um look, so that she could write in but then i also made you know different and this was very very new obviously um at junk journaling so um i want to get back into it um seeing all these junk journals and things here on youtube and all my wonderful friends has inspired me so i, I wanted to um, make another one, so, or two or three, whatever. Um, but in the crafter square section, I came upon this and this says elastic band. And I said, oh, that is perfect for closures for junk journals. And I thought that was such a beautiful color. I love that hot pink. So I got that. And then also in that section, I found this um, beautiful coastal nautical ribbon. And y'all know that I love seahorses. I think they're just like the coolest thing ever. I really want one. And there's that. And then I love also lighthouses. I actually used to collect lighthouses. I have nowhere near the collection that I used to have. And now it's all in our spare room because on the bookshelf. Because that is in a, that spare bedroom and spare bathroom is in a nautical theme. So, and then, okay, so that's what I got in that area. And then I was so excited because, okay, so I had a dentist appointment today and I had my had a, had a crack, I had a crack in my filling when I went for my dental cleaning about oh, two weeks ago. They, when they do their, you know, x-rays, she said, oh, you have a crack in that filling, you better get it fixed. So I said, okay. She said, we can do it today. I'm like, huh, I've sat here long enough. No, thank you. <laughs> you know, with them doing the cleaning and everything. 
excuse me, which actually they don't take that bad and they're really not that bad. I used to go to a hygienist that just wanted to like dig into your gums. Horrible, it's horrible. Um, but anyways, these people are wonderful. It's a wonderful office, wonderful people, wonderful dentists are in there. There's a lot of different dentists in there and stuff and hygienists and stuff. So anyways, that being said, um, I said, okay, I'll make an appointment. I'll come back. I'll get a fix. I promise. Okay. So <laughs> I really did too. I really, really, really did want to. And especially everything that was going on with Daisy. I just didn't want to go. My husband said, no, you have to take care of you. You're going to go. And my daughter said the same thing. No, mama, you're going. So I was like, okay. Cause they said, you know, if it cracks, um, I'm going to be in a lot of pain. And what if we're like away on vacation or, um, you know, it's the weekend and I can't get them. Um, so I went ahead and had it done. With that being said, um, I didn't eat anything before I went. I had my iced coffee and then the appointment was like around 1130. Y'all know about my light. Y'all know about my light, my friend, whoever. Um, anyways, um, so <laughs> it was funny because the hygienist said, did you eat breakfast before you came? And, or did you eat anything before I came? I said, no, she goes, I heard your belly growl. I'm like, yeah. So anyways, uh, I left there and went by P.O. Box and then I went um, to Dollar Tree to get those couple things I needed before I needed to go by the grocery store just to get a couple things. So anyways, I uh, I was like, oh, I better get, you know, a candy bar or something because when I was signing my paper leaving the dentist's office, I, I was like shaky and she was like, do you need to sit down? I said, no, 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 no. Um, so anyways, I was like, I better just grab a candy bar or something because um, I still have to go by the grocery store to get like two or three things before I have to go home. And I did not want myself passing out there or whatever. Anyways, when I went over there to grab the candy bar um, for my daughter and myself, when I was walking by, I noticed there's this box and it had stuff done in it. And I just happened to look to see what the plastic was. And I was so, so excited. It was one of these candy jars with lids. I see everybody haul them and I've never been able to find them anywhere. So super, super excited. I think I might like bling out the top of that lid there, but I thought this would be so, so nice to sit on my kitchen counter. I could even put it on my, in my coffee area and um, put pods in it. There's so much you could do with this. So I'm super, super excited that I actually found it. You see how easy this candy jar with lid sticker pulls off. Oh, it comes right off. So that makes it really, really nice. So I found that. Um, comment down below and let me know how many of you guys have found that. Um, have found that this uh, candy jar because I was super duper excited to find it. So I got that. And then here's the tissues I went in for. I actually picked up another box, but then I saw these and I was like, yes, please. It's the uh, the Barbie ones, and that's what they look like. How cute is that? Oh my gosh. So I did get two of those, because I always like to have one for backup, and we are actually out of one. And then I also got this little um, notebook here that says fun stuff, and this will be the junk journal. I will, um, you know, cover this. May leave the back, because it's super cute with the pink and the polka dots. I may leave the back the way it is tear this little sticker off I'm sure um and then of course put that hot pink um elastic band around it to close it off so I thought that would be nice so I did that I got that and then um oh this is what I ended up eating instead of a candy bar I ended up I got these Pepperidge Farm mini chestnut butter forget who hauled these. I don't want to say for sure, but I, someone hauled these and I was like, mm, yes, please. So I got these and I ate like, I just ate two or three in the car real quick before I went to the grocery store. So there's that. And then I got some of these Wiley Wallaby soft and chewy watermelon, which ironically ended up having a package in my friend mail that my friend sent me. So that was really ironic. And then here's the candy bars that I picked up for my daughter and I, and it's in the milk chocolate. The, uh, it says Caramel Lion of Belgium, Belgium, and it's Godiva, uh, Belgium 1926 masterpieces. These are really, really delicious. 
I got that. Sorry, somebody just messaged me, so I was looking to see that was. Um, I also got this in the Crafter Square section. This is uh, from Floral Garden Burlap Trim. And I thought this would be really pretty around cards or in uh, Mimdex cards. I got that. Excited to craft with that this week, hopefully. And then as I was leaving, I saw this Curaid First Aid Portable Pack. It says ideal for travel. You get 15 items in there. You get two of the sterile alcohol swabs. I really wish they would give you more. And then you get three of the Flex Fabric uh, Bandages, three of the sterile... Um, uh, oh, so I guess you get six, but they're in two different sizes. And then one of the waterproof and then three of the regular plastic ones. Um, and then three of the spot bandages, just like the small ones. So I got that because that is always good to have on hand. And I do keep a little teeny, in my pocketbook, a little teeny um, um, first aid kit. But I thought this would be good to put in one of the other vehicles because if I'm not in that vehicle or if I didn't bring my big pocketbook and I just have my small one, um, this way that will always be on hand. So I got that. And then um, I picked up the sympathy card that I needed to get for um, a friend back home in West Virginia. Her father passed away. And then um, I found these Kool-Aid flavored jelly beans got those and then I got two packs of these Reese's peanut butter eggs which I have a feeling are going to go out in friend mail because my daughter doesn't care for them um I'm kind of like whatever yeah I do like them but I can be with them or without them whatever <laughs> and then um my son used to love them but he said that something about the taste is different now he said he just doesn't like it as much and I think it's just him and I have had it so much we've ate it so much that we just I don't know whatever um but these are good until September of 2023. And I did get two packages thinking that, oh, he could have one now. And I could put one in his, like, Easter bag. But, like I said, he seen them and he was like, oh, so I'll probably just mail them. <laughs> and then I also got these almond windmill cookies. Um, I don't know. Have you got, these are by Little Dutch Maid. Have you guys ever tried these? I love like almond cookies and I just got some really really delicious ones from TJ Maxx and I really really regret not getting two boxes because they were so delicious um and I really wish that and I'll show you guys that I really wish that I would have gotten two because now I don't know you know that sort of thing you never know when you go back in there if it's going to be there it's TJ Maxx it's just how it is um but I thought well maybe this will kind of do my almond cookie craving um, so yeah, we'll see. But I think that's it. That is my haul. That is my haul, y'all. <laughs> I hope y'all enjoyed this video and I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay safe, be kind, and until next time. Bye y'all.